Hey everyone, this is Zach here with another episode of Hope for Master Ball. Sorry for no post on the weekend, but I was trying to get ahead of my work so I could take some time to get ready for Players Cup 3. I basically have the team together, I just need to put the right Eevees on it, the right moves, and basically put it all together. But I have the Pokemon. But today we are trying to get to Master Ball Sill, which is kind of sad that I'm talking about Players Cup and still not a Master Ball. But we are working with this Cherry Dawn team, and from what I've read from Wi-Fi and the other comments is that I feel like I'm focusing too hard on Groudon as the Maxmon, and I think I need to move away from that playstyle and think of some of the other Mons like Regilecki and Dragapult as Max candidates. But anyways... If you enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully we are going to have some good matches. We have our first trainer. And Dialga could be tough. Vinny could be tough. But I think we just go Regilecki here. We do have to worry about the Rotom Heat getting a nasty plot up. Dialga and Grimmsnarl. So do you... Max Quake off the bat, or do you Trick Room? I'm worried about the Trick Room here. Do I want to Volt Switch? Okay, so you might just max Quake off the bat. And I think if we can get the Grimmsnarl out of the way, we're still in a decent position. There's the light screen. Now do I want to bring in Groudon or do I want to bring do I want to bring in Cherum? I think the Groudon here will take the Max Quake the best. We'll go ahead and get a Moonblast into the Grimmsnarl and put it down really low. And there's a Max Quake. So I think now I want to switch in Cherum. Just to get the boost. And I want to Blades here. I do have to be concerned about weakness policy and just flat out missing. But I want to say Max Steel Spike should come next. But we will get a boost in our defenses with Flower Gift. Grimstall is going to go ahead and set up the Reflect. Still does a solid amount of damage, and we activate the weakness policy. So, Groudon's definitely going to go down here.
No, you go for the Cherim. Okay. But you do get a defense boost. We're going to see the Tapu Fini, which is probably, I want to say, faster than the Groudon. What is our best move here? I would have to say a helping hand. A helping hand into blades because we've already activated weakness policy. We'll see a Max Steel Spike come out into the Cherum. And probably a Muddy Water from the Feeny. But Feeny's slower here. Or a Heal Pulse. Calm Mind. So I think I just I just have to keep going for blades here. And we've already shown that Cherum has the focus sash. And we're no longer being boosted by Cherum. So I don't think at plus one with reflect up, I don't think we one shot the Dialga here. We do hit Precipice Blades, and that's not enough for either knockout. You should Flash Cannon into Whimsicott. Actually, the Groudon. And Moonblast, that should be enough to take out Finny. No. Okay. Ooh, okay. So you're probably light clay. Let's go ahead and double protect to see if you are like clay. Earth power and moon blast. Okay. So you doubled into the Reggie. And screens did not go away. So I think we have to double into the Dialga here. Oh, that's not going to be enough. We do get a special attack oh, or speed drop. We should have maxed. We do knock out Dialga though. See a moon blast. Is that enough to take out Regilecki? Ugh. Oh, 
Oh, uh, Urshifu, we're in Sucker Punch range. Let's go ahead and max guard and Moonblast into the Urshifu. We should have maxed last turn. We would have been in a lot better position, but I wanted to get spread damage. Let's see, do you go for Sucker Punch? Yes, you do. Yeah, now, now we just go down to a Sucker Punch here. Good game to my opponent. If we would have maxed the first turn, like we might have been able to survive a sucker punch. Good game. I feel like we played that one better. Is it at instead of maxing Groudon? So I mean, getting. Getting comfortable with the idea of maxing mons that aren't Groudon is where I want to move this team in my play style. We're going to go ahead and go against Tim. And this team has some trick room options. Do I need Whimsicott? Hmm. I think as long as we can get rid of the Raichu... Regilecki isn't bad in the back. Arachnid and Klefki. So you brought out the wide guard? I honestly don't think of Fire Punch and... Max Phantasm is bad here. Because I want to get as much damage onto that Clef Key as possible. And since I'm leading Dragapult, you, like, you do have to worry about it being a weakness policy. But what is the Clef Key going to do? Because it, it is Prankster. Okay, so they're maxing their Araquanid. So they might give Groudon weakness policy. And they set up the reflect. Okay. We do a solid chunk through reflect. 
And we bring down the defense. And there's the Max Geyser. And you do give us weakness policy. So other than to control the terrain, there's really no reason to... Rock Slide would be our best move here. And Max Phantasm again. Okay, so you go ahead and Max Guard. Probably going to T-Wave, yep. Okay, good play. Okay, so that's good because they want it. They want it, the clef key to go down there. And let's just max Phantasm again. Because we want to, we want to keep the weather around, even if it's just to bring Groudon in on something. So we'll probably see another Max Geyser and a foul play, actually. Okay. That did a solid chunk. Dynamax is over for both these mons. And we have to worry about the taunt here. Phantom Force is risky. Yeah, let's Phantom Force the Clef Key. And let's see if the Clef Key wants to show Taunt. We'll bring the Sun back out. Okay, so you foul played into the Groudon and Leech Life. That's not good, but. We will have two super effective moves. But. Clef Key here could foul play into the Groudon. This is a tough one because you could you could foul play into the Groudon and then leech life into the Dragapult. Ground is actually going to go first. So we'll get the double knockout. The Reflect's gone. So you weren't Clay, you were probably Focus Ash. But here comes in the Kyogre and the Raichu. Okay. Let's switch in the Cherum, and we will go ahead and 
protect the Dragapult. At least try to protect the Dragapult. Dragapult gets paralyzed. And I think we're walled here. Unless somehow we outspeed. Well, no, we can still Electro Whip. Hmm, should I protect or should I go for it? I think I should try to electro web twice. The scary thing is, is we're going to boost up this Raichu. And the Kyogre could protect to get chip on to the Regilecki. So we protect first. We're probably the slowest on the field. And they actually Volt Switch. Are, are you doubling in? The sun's out. This is resisted. Okay, we hang on. So I want to electro web again and, and blades. We have to hit. If we don't hit. There we go. Raichu hangs on with the Focus Sash. And if Volt Switch is your only move, you are down to nothing. But if Volt Switch isn't your only move, you could still win this. Because we gave you plus two. Oh, you faked out. <laughs> you didn't have anything else. There we go. Okay, yeah, so Nuzzle, Volt Switch. So as soon as we got rid of the Kyogre, we were able just to wall the Ride Shield, which I'm really thankful for because I saw that my endgame was Groudon, Regilecki versus Raichu, Kyogre, and I was just like, oh, I can just... I can just, I can just max the Regilecki, but I couldn't max it without just redirecting all my attacks so being able to get the kyogre slow enough where groudon outsped it and thankfully hitting the precipice blades uh just put us in a situation where they couldn't do anything uh so i want to say maybe rock slide was a safer move there because it's a little more accurate but at that point in the game we kind of had to make that play but I am going to leave it at that. Still in Ultra Ball, but making some growth playing this team. Not, not in Ultra Ball, but in playing this team. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, do not forget to like and subscribe. 
And if you made it this far in the video, I want to say thanks for watching. Until then, I'll see everyone later.